Hello everyone, welcome to the video on anti-malarial agents and this is part 1. Now in this part I am going to explain about malaria life cycle, anti-malarial classification, chemistry of quinine and chloroquine. This is my YouTube video channel, if you like the video content do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now malaria, this infection is caused by plasmodium species like plasmodium falciferum, vivax, malaria, ovel and nolisi. And this plasmodium is a single cell parasite which is carried by Anopheles or Aedes mosquito and it is transferred by mosquito bite. It gets into the bloodstream by a mosquito bite. Now this parasite gets into liver cell and gets developed and then it attacks our red blood cells. Now it causes a variety of symptoms and it may result in death also. Now, let us see the brief details of life cycle. Now see the first step is an infected mosquito injects sporozoids. See the mosquito bite injects sporozoids into the human body. They gets into the liver and these sporozoids are developed into merozoids by feeding on liver cells. Now after that the merozoids release into the blood and in the blood cells they are developed into trophozoids. So trophozoids when they develop and multiply they cause rupture of red blood, red blood cells and it releases all these trophozoids. Now understand this, this is the stage wherein the typical symptoms of malaria are seen like fever, chills and sweat. Now the moment people get fever, chills and sweats it indicates malaria has, has gone through all the stages. It has come into the blood, it has developed in liver and then got into the red blood cell and caused it that blood cell rupture and that is what results in these symptoms. Now after that from here it may get back to the liver or some of them are converted to gametocytes which are taken by mosquito bite and the sexual cycle develops in the mosquito and again it injects sporozoids in some other person. So this is what is a typical life cycle of malaria. Let me explain it in briefly. So now understand you need to uh, you need to know three things. When a mosquito bite occurs, it injects sporozoids to the human blood. Now these sporozoids gets into liver and in the liver they get developed into merozoids. Now these merozoids are again released from the liver and they get into red blood cell. Now in the red blood cell these merozoids are developed as trophozoids. Now these trophozoids will cause RBC red blood cell rupture which is known as hemolysis. So this hemolysis is what causes symptoms. The uh, fever, sweats, chills, everything occurs during this hemolysis phase. After that it may get back to liver which may cause relapse. Relapse means some of the organisms stay inside the liver. After some time they may get reactivated and released into the blood. So this is the life cycle of malaria. Now let us let, let's have a brief look about this drug. Now see there are certain drugs which are effective against erythrocytic form that means when malaria is present in the red blood cell these drugs are very effective. They are artemisinin, etoquan, proguanil, chloroquine, quinine, mefloquine and pyrimethamine. Some other drugs are effective against gametocyte and in the liver forms they are known as primaquine. So the drugs which are effective against these red blood cells are known as shijonticides because they are known as shijonts. So they are known as shijonticides. All these drugs are acts as shijonticides. Whereas primakin acts as gametocyte because it kills gametocytes. Now, get into the classification. See, see four aminoquinolins, eight aminoquinolins. These two are quinoline derivatives. When you see the structure of quinoline, this is what is quinoline is. Now the numbering is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So in certain compounds at 4th position an amine derivative is there, they are known as 4 aminoquinolins. Examples are chloroquine, amodioquine. In other compounds the amine group is present at 8th position. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is 8th position and they are known as 8 aminoquinolins. Examples are primaquine and palmaquine. And 4 quinoline methanol derivatives are there wherein at this position you have a methanol group is there. So example is mefloquine. So quinoline containing one are quinine and quinidine. Diaminopyridine derivative is pyrimethamine. Now sulfonamides can also be effectively used to treat malaria. Sulfadiazine, sulfadoxine, dapsone. Lactone derivatives are artemisinins. Now these artemisinins are effective against 
many stages of uh, plasmodium hence they are used in combination with other drugs it is known as artemisin combination therapy now phenanthrene derivatives are lumifantrine halofantrine tetracycline like doxycycline is also used to treat malaria now biguanides roguanil and hydroxy naphthalene is atavaqua now let us see the chemistry of quinine and mecanism action see all these quinoline derivatives quinine quinidine chloroquine mefloquine are derived from cinchona tree now how do they act is and uh, understand this one see this plasmodium feeds on hemoglobin on the on our red blood cell the globin is amino acid part it is taken up by plasmodium and it releases heme heme is toxic to plasmodium hence this heme is polymerized by plasmodium and this polymerized heme is known as hemo join and that is stored in food vacuole of plasmodium so here in food vacuole it is stored now chloroquine the advantage with chloroquine is it selectively reaches to this food vacuole and and attacks this hemo join and releases the heme and the released heme is toxic to plasmodium now this is how it acts so see when chloroquine quinidine derivatives are taken they are selectively accumulated in food vacuole wherein you have hemo join is there so they binds to heme and causes hemo join release heme is released and that causes toxicity to plasmodium all these drugs acts in a similar way now quinine see the same structure can be drawn in two ways it is a bicyclic compound this is a six membered one it can be drawn in any of the way both of them are the same now look at this see this is first carbon this is second one and this is fourth and this is fifth one the second fourth fifth are asymmetric carbons so they have a stereo conformation now at fifth position look at this so this is the fifth position you have an ethenyl group is there c double bond c so that is what is mentioned here five ethenyl one aza bicyclo aza means nitrogen bicyclo because it is a fused ring two 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 indicates at this side two atoms are there this side two atoms and the bridge is also made up of two atoms so this is what is two 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 octane totally eight at atoms will make this ring see one two three four five six seven and eight hence you have octane is there Two oil indicates at second position you have a substitution is there and what is the substitution? Six methoxy quinoline. This is quinoline at sixth position a methoxy group is there. Four oil means at fourth position there is a substitution that is methanol. So this is what is the IUPAC name of quinine. Moving further, chloroquine is a four amino derivative. One, two, three at fourth position amine group is there. Now five, six at seventh position a chlorine substitution is there. Seven chloro. quinoline 4 ail at fourth position substitution is there what is the substitution nn diethyl pentane 14 diamine see this is nn diethyl this is ethyl group two ethyl groups are there pentane five carbons 1 2 3 4 five carbons are there and at one and four position amine substitutions are there so that is this is what is chloroquine iupac noun clature now let us understand the structure activity relationship see the ring with this four amino substitution is required for heme binding so this is what is the group which is responsible for mechanism of action so you cannot change this group and at seventh position chloro substitution is optimal now the other one see the terminal alkyl amino is required for the accumulation in acidic food vacuole so again this is responsible for its mechanism of action so you cannot change this part so only thing which can be changed is the linker a four carbon linker is there in chloroquine that can be replaced with a two carbon atom and that increases activity against chloroquine resistant parasite so this is the only place wherein substitution is allowed and this is what is structure activity relationship now see the synthesis see chloroquine can be simply synthesized by taking two of the starting material and this one is 47 dichloroquinoline the other half is dimethyl amino 4 amino pentane very simple one see the chlorine is a very glue leaving group it goes out along with electrons so it generates a positive charge on the ring so the electrons which are available on this amine will attack here and it results in formation of chloroquine so very simple synthesis only two of the starting materials you need to understand this organic chemistry then everything will be done just remember chlorine is a very good leaving group it goes away with electron pair and it generates a positive charge which is attached by this amine electrons and that results in bond formation so this is about the synthesis of uh, chloroquine so thank you for watching this video if you like the video content do subscribe and share